Hello, this is super cool time for another super cool reviews. We continue our Kingdom Hearts journey with, in my opinion, the least favorite of the games, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. This is the one that most people say is not the best. It's not the worst, like it's not 100% bad, but it's just not as strong as the other ones. And I can totally see why. Originally, this game was made for the mobile phone, but then in 2010, or 2011, it was remade for the Nintendo DS, and just like 358 over two days, it was remade to a cutscene movie in the HD collections. So, what's the plot? The plot is Jiminy Cricket is investigating his journals, wondering about the Think Nominate message. One day, he finds a mysterious message he never wrote. So, Mickey and the others decide to earn the journal and convert it into data to find out what's going on. But to find out, the data is corrupted by mysterious bugs. The only solution is to bring Sora in. Although it's not Sora, it's a data version of Sora that's still young, inexperienced, starting from square one, and for some reason has a deep voice. But things get more complicated when Mickey and the others get sucked into the journal as well. And also the journal can turn into a data version of Riku and also Peter Maleficent show up for reasons I don't know. That's about it. Okay, let's talk about my major con with the game. And yeah, this is the one most people have a problem with. It's filler. filler. It's a lot of pointless stuff like... Pretty sure this is just basically the creators saying, hey, remember this? And, ooh, remember that? Like, it's basically Kingdom Hearts, Hearts on a, the first game on a lower budget, honestly. Honestly, like, if you take away all the data stuff and put them, like, it applies no, it, it has no meaning to the story, except for the ending credit. The ending scene and the post credit scene because honestly, those are the most important things in the game. It would have made sense to put those at the end of Birth by Sleep and it would have made a lot more sense. And... And, and also the Disney worlds are just there because, because we need Disney worlds. Let's talk about the pros, honestly. That being the last, like I said before, the ending it scene. Because it totally sets up for the future and has you hyped for whatever is coming your way. Hey, especially without giving too much into spoiler spoilers. But you will be hyped hype for what's going to happen. And it doesn't really make sense what's going to happen. And it doesn't really make sense, but you have to think back. And if you play Dream Drop Distance, this cutscene will make a lot of sense. Uh, that's all I could say about this game. And there's nothing much. Anyway, I didn't hate it. I just thought it wasn't that great. Anyway, for my new ratings, I give Kingdom Hearts 1 an 82 out of 100, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories a 73 out of 100, Kingdom Hearts 2 an 86 out of 100, Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2 days a 79 out of 100, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep an 80 out of 100, and this game a 70 out of 100. This is super cool, signing off.